this is a video for light workers or rebels or basically people who feel like they came here to be system breakers but then they're also feeling um like resistant to that role that they've chosen which is what i'm going through like part of me is like yeah we get to like break this down and build a new world but then you're realizing that so many people get so upset and so triggered with you when you're kind of pointing out the things that aren't working and you're saying like oh i'm doing it this way and they're like well why are you not just doing what everyone else is doing um and the kind of image that i thought of is that it's like everyone is sleeping in a house that's on fire and we volunteer to be the one going around banging you know spoons on pots and making lots of noise um, that's something Andrew Martin talked about is we're just going around flipping on all the light switches and yeah people are gonna be upset they're gonna be like why are you waking me up like go away let me sleep what's your problem that's basically the response that you can get when people don't want to listen to what you're saying they're like just let me be leave me alone why are you being all radical and just doing all these weird things why can't you just be normal like me and let me sleep and go away basically um, and it's not like we're intentionally pushing people's buttons. All we're doing is living our own authentic lives. But energetically, that is the equivalent of us going around flipping all the light switches. So, the reason I thought of this whole house on fire thing is that, yeah, it's really uncomfortable to wake up. But some people will wake up and be like, oh my goodness, the house is on fire, what do I do? And then you're there to say, go that way, go down the stairs go out the front door like your job is to, like help get people out um or give them a spoon and a pot and tell them to go <laughs> wake up a bunch of other people and uh and tell them how to get out and some people won't want to get out that's the reality they're gonna be like let me go back to sleep pull the covers back up um and that's not your job part of it is to for me detach from the outcome of it so if i flip the lights on and nobody gets up nobody gets out of bed and they're all just being mad at me it's like that's that's out of my control you know my job is just to be myself and hopefully some people will be responsive to the idea that there is a better way to do things and i was thinking of like if it was literally a house on fire and you were waking people up and getting them out like do you think they're gonna be standing on the front lawn with you being like why do you wake me up they're gonna be like no oh my goodness i almost died like thank you for waking me up and that kind of is the situation that we're going on here it's like the world is not gonna go in a good place unless we make a shift you know so it's like i was not happy to wake up when my higher self made the decision to like wake me up and had kind of a spontaneous experience of like oh wow like everything's wrong like it just kind of happened like really quickly and it was not fun at all it was like my higher self was banging making all this noise like wake up wake up wake up time and i was like what is going on but i'm grateful now like at the time i was like what the heck like my life falling apart and it still is but i can see how i need to get out of the house that's on fire like my life was on fire and i need to get out and staying asleep was comfortable but it you're not gonna get out so that analogy was kind of helpful for me it's kind of discouraging when people don't want to hear your message but that like that's the nature of it is that people it's not gonna be comfortable to wake up is the thing and that's okay and i need to be okay with people being uncomfortable because i was uncomfortable and now i understand and people will understand um, at some point when it when they're receptive to this. So yeah, thank you for watching.